get your nuts down and have a butchers at this. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we are counting down our picks for the top 10 Danny Dyer moments. It's all right about having a slush puppy machine, right? You can't, I don't think you should be able to have slush puppies when you want. I think it should be a treat. Before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. Despite appearing in multiple Brit flicks and serving as custodian of the Queen Vic in EastEnders, Danny Dyer's at his best when he's off script. So for this list, forget the film and TV characters, here's a rundown of rough and ready moments from the man himself. Magical sack, magical sack, where could you be? Magical sack, magical sack, come and play with me. Number 10, being shot at whilst hungover. Kill him is his business. If some twat wants to kill me, I'm gonna kill him. You know how it is, you're hungover and all you really want is a fry up and a long nap. But Danny goes the extra mile for Danny Dyer's deadliest men, embarking on an unconventional cure for what ails him. I'm gonna be straight with you now. I've had a bit of a late one. I feel a bit ropey. So, you know, I hope, he, I hope he just takes it nice and easy on me. Meeting up with an ex-SAS soldier the morning after a night on the town, Dyer is being shot at within seconds of exchanging pleasantries. Pleasure to meet you, yeah. mate. Pleasure you to meet you. Right? Good as gold, mate. Yeah. yeah. Sure, it's only blanks that have fired his way, but this sure won't have helped his pounding headache. Oh, mate, I knew something bad was going to happen. You're bang out of order. Number nine, discovering his heritage. Sir Henry... Hotspur Percy, Philippa Plantagenet, explain to me. In what must be the show's most unlikely revelation ever, Danny appears on Who Do You Think You Are, only to discover he's descendant from royalty as a dim and distant relation to the medieval monarch, Edward III. Of course, Danny's reaction is what makes this moment so memorable. So you are directly descended from King Edward III of England. I can't be. I can't be. After taking a minute to process the news, he starts rethinking his fashion choices and refining his tastes. Although it's difficult to see Dyer rocking regal attire anytime soon, he'd no doubt jump at the chance to be king. I think I'm going to treat myself to a rough. What, the, um... Yeah. Yeah, it would be, be a good look for you. Just get a massive ruff, just bowl about with it, and you know, if anyone questions it, and then I'll explain to them why I'm wearing a ruff. That's true. Yeah. Number eight, getting back at Katie Hopkins. What do you think we should do with Katie Hopkins? I mean, how can we make her go away? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't want to get in trouble. After it was revealed in 2015 that Danny's long-term girlfriend had proposed to him, popping the question via cupcake, no less. Casey Hopkins couldn't resist tweeting her two cents on the matter. This is, this is Katie Hopkins' tweet to you. I don't believe any woman really wants to propose to a man. Women would far rather be proposed to than propose at. Whilst Hopkins suggested that it's the man's job to get down on one knee, Dyer didn't take kindly to the comments and delivered a savage comeback tweet. Really? And no man wants his wife to have the look of Wilford Bremble either. Stay <laughs> joke, man. Well done, that man. Number seven, telling a ghost story. You, you say you saw a ghost. Is this true? You think a you go saw oh, a ghost? Yeah, 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 yeah. You saw a ghost? Yeah, I've seen well, a monk. But... Danny ain't afraid of no ghost. Well, maybe just a little. Danny's interviews are often unpredictable, but here he hits Jonathan Ross with a real life ghost story with the eerie action centered on a spooky, supposedly supernatural monk. Me and my pal, we was walking along, it was about three in the morning, we was, you know, thinking, oh, I'm gonna see someone come towards us. If we're hell, we're gonna get nicked. And as it got closer, it was a monk. <laughs> Ross doesn't seem to buy it, but Danny's no mug and he's adamant on what he saw. Though probably still not the strangest thing anyone's ever seen in the early hours in Stratford, it's a story sure to send shivers down the spine of any East London geezer. Is it a ghost? I don't know. I don't think there's enough pictures of ghosts for me. No, people say they've seen yeah. them, but there ain't enough, <laughs> not enough evidence. evidence. No, there ain't, evidence. There ain't this here. There's none, is there? Well, that's why we don't believe in them, Danny. So you think it's bollocks? Number six, winning an NTA. Get up! Get up! Dyer's switch to EastEnders seemed a surprising move in 2013, but the actor was soon rewarded for his portrayal of Mick Carter. My old mucker, Danny Dyer! <laughs> winning the National Television Award for Serial Drama Performance in 2015, Danny delivered what was surely the speech of the night, thanking his colleagues in unique style. But the highlight came at the end, with a cheeky nod to his parents. 
He's a proper humble lad. I want to thank my mum and dad for having a rollabout in 1977 and conceiving me. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Number five, Danny's secret stash. I've buried a thousand pounds in cash in a secret <laughs> location in case I ever have to go on the run. Appearing on Would I Lie to You, Danny sends Lee Mack and Co. round the houses when he claims to have buried a grand or a bag of sand, in Dyer's words, in case of emergency. From the off, his opponents are suspicious, but Danny cuts quite a convincing figure when he divulges just a few details about where the money's hidden. It's about where I whack me motor. You've what? You killed your car? No. Parked <laughs> <laughs> my car. Yeah, but you've drove your car away though, didn't you, afterwards, so it's not still there. Though he's found out eventually, it's a porky that only Danny could come even close to pulling off. Can't expect Danny to give away the location on no. television of no, where his no, it's bag nipped. of sand is. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry, for a minute then, I really thought I was in some gangster film where he's gone, yeah. oh, I've whacked it off and buried it near the normal wisdom stick. <laughs> Number four, being roasted on Big Fat Quiz. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the new landlord of the Queen Vic, it's Danny Dyer, everyone! He only came on to ask one simple question, but the 2013 panel on Big Fat Quiz of the Year turned Dyer's cameo into a comic highlight. Brought in to deliver some Weatherspoons related trivia, he can't get a word in edgeways. How was your year? Good. Did a film called Vendetta, it's out now. Come out on the 23rd. It's a strong piece of work. Jack, you've seen it. Very good. Came out on the 23rd, closed on the 25th. With everyone ripping him for his accent, his recent movie release, and his choice of outfit. The second half of the Nutcracker starts to. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's seriously outnumbered, and he's a good sport and takes it all in his stride. What a diamond. Oh, yeah. Monaco. See you later. Danny Dyer, everyone. Number three, Danny's UFO experience. So this is your little study. This is your. Uh, yeah, this is my office. Out, is it? You know, loving the uh, loving the blinds. The truth is out there, and Danny has seen it. You can add aliens to the ghosts and ghouls on Danny's list of otherworldly encounters. Only this time, the actor fronts an entire documentary on the phenomena. Wow, look at that. Now watch right here. No. What the hell is that? Clearly, Danny's convinced that aliens exist, but he doesn't always get a great deal of support, and the 8 out of 10 Cats panel seemed especially sceptical when he described his theories. I don't know what it was, but it was flying about. It wasn't a helicopter, it wasn't a plane, it was... A could, it, oh. could it have been a kite? Not that that'll stop him from believing. Yeah. At first, it does look like it's flat. You know, but then yeah, you're right, and then and then it starts then it moving, moves, yeah, and then it, you do see that I don't know what to, I can't I can't I can't deal with that. Number two, getting punched in the jaw. Most speciality is killing people with his bare hands. So another instalment of Danny Dyer's deadliest men, and another example of our host going above and beyond. And there's no messing around here. Don't smash me face open. Anything else? <laughs> anything else? I can suffer. Right, okay, mate, we can, I'm sure we can look at something. Oh, good. Danny meets another ex-serviceman, but Motig appears an unpredictable character, and Danny seems on the back foot. He's soon roughed up by Mo and is even caught with a right jab. So I've had that, I flick you in the yeah. eye, boom, catch you here like this. <laughs> it all gets a little uncomfortable at times, but our man keeps his cool and comes out mostly intact. Mo just punched me hard in the jaw and it really hurt. Number one, hard man class. You have really massive balls. <laughs> I've got one massive bollock, yeah, I've got one massive bollock. It's a mad thing, yeah. Our winner centres on a show which seems made for Danny Dyer, but his best celebrity juice moment sees him take centre stage with host Keith Lemon. Would you teach me um, how to do, like, ad man talk and stuff? Yeah. Keith's in need of some East End acting tips, and Danny's more than happy to give a hands-on tutorial. His partner's not exactly a natural, but Dyer worked with what he's got, and uses his own acting stereotype to stage a hilarious sketch. I'm telling you now, right, if you're f***ing grass, I will f***ing open you up, you dirty <laughs> This geezer's not afraid to make fun of himself, leaving Keith in a right two and eight. Are you a grass f***ing tell me now? There you go, grass! Sweet tears, that's all I needed to know, that's all I needed to know. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.